All right, so one more example here of solving a separable differential equation. So part C, we've got dy over dx equals cosine x minus 1. I'm going to do the same thing um, as on the other ones. I'm just going to cross multiply. So let's see, we would have dy times the quantity y minus 1. And I'm going to put the dy on the right side. Or excuse me, well, to the right of the y minus 1. Um, on the actual right side of the equal sign, we'll have dx times cosine x. Well, again, now what we're going to do, we've got all the y's on one side, all the x's on the other. We can just find the antiderivative of both sides. So on the left, we'll be left with y squared over 2 minus y. On the right side, the antiderivative of cosine x will be sine x. Again, I'm going to stick our plus c on that side. And again, you know, to solve this for y, um, you know, our very first example, we were able to take a cube root eventually and solve for y. Again, here I'm not sure exactly how to solve for y. And again, sometimes you simply can't do it. Um, so here I'm just going to leave it alone and say our solution to the original differential equation would be y squared, uh, y squared over 2 minus y equals sine x plus c.